going to see the catacombs, which we're really excited about. If you haven't heard of the catacombs before, it's basically a series of tunnels underground in Paris. And in the 18th century, there was a real problem in the city with overflowing cemeteries. And apparently, the remains of more than six million people are buried underground. You see all the bones, and it's been open to the public for tours since about 1874, I think I read. Yeah. So we're gonna head there now, which I'm really looking forward to because I've heard so much about it and I've never been. Welcome to the Paris Catacombs. When you came down this narrow spiral staircase, you left the city and the world of the living and slipped without even noticing it into the underbelly of the capital. It's a world of fantasy, a refuge for outlaws and dropouts, a place of exploration for night owls craving new experiences. spread all over Paris underneath the suburbs well into the 20th century and the one that we're walking through now was dug out they think in the 15th century. It's extremely old and you can see places in the wall in the 18th century where inspectors came to fill things in and check them out and they put the date and there's just so many layers of history not to mention the geology here. It's so cool to walk through. All I want to do is yell, hello. <laughs> <Should I> do... <laughs> no. <laughs> you can definitely notice a difference in the temperature from street level down all of these steps. Apparently it is 14 degrees all through the year. And I'm glad I have a uh, sweater because it is a little bit chilly. noticed while we were walking there's this black line continuously all along the ceiling and just realized that when they opened this in the 19th century to the public for the first time there was no electricity down here so that was apparently to help people get their bearings when it was really really dark so that they could find their way so that's why there's that black line all the way along There's so many bones in here, it's very overwhelming. And they've arranged the femur bones and the skulls in different patterns. And just walking around, I'm thinking about all these people and how they all had a story and they were all babies who were born and lived and had lives. And now it's a pile of bones. It's hard to imagine. Yeah, and you can tell where the different bones are from, which cemetery, because there are signs to tell you where they came from and when they were moved. 
I just keep thinking about each one having a story and a life and friends, hopefully, and there's just millions of lives represented here. It's really overwhelming. Apparently when they first started moving them, they just dumped them in to save time. And after a while, they started giving a bit more respect and arranging them in a way that was like a cemetery. And this does have the same kind of energy or feeling as, as a cemetery or a burial ground, as it should make sense. It's very heavy. Still processing everything we've seen here, but we have seen a lot of bones, a lot of skulls. A lot of people's lives represented. So we've been down here for about two hours. Yeah, about that. And we're about to head back to street level. It was light outside and we were in there so long that the sun is now gone. <laughs> it was about two hours and we came out in a totally different place than we went in obviously because we were walking underground. Blocks and blocks and blocks away from where we started. For a really long time and I think what strikes me the most about the whole experience is just knowing that all of that network of tunnels and layers of history is underneath the current city. Mm -hmm. Just layers of time, layers of history, and how all those people. And all those millions and millions of people. It's unbelievable. And we just saw a very, very small portion of what's actually there. I actually heard someone say that was only one eight hundredth of what's down there. That's I don't know crazy. if that's true, but. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought we would be in and out in 20 minutes for some reason. Yeah. Um, maybe I thought it was going to be a little more like the mummy museum we saw in Mexico. <laughs> but uh, it just stretched on and on and on and on. And there's so many inscriptions everywhere and plaques. And there's beautiful quotes about death from many, many different authors and sources. And it just it felt very really reflective walking through. And not to be corny, but honestly, my takeaway here is that I'm really glad to be alive. <laughs> because when you're walking through, you know, kilometers of bones, um, it really drives home the fact that your life is very insignificant <laughs> and puts things into perspective. Whatever's going wrong that day or that month or whatever, like, really did. just really be thankful that you're here to live. Because <laughs> you won't be for long. That's true. That's kind of how I'm feeling now. And on that note... <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Streetlight just came Let on! Let there be light! <laughs> oh! That's so funny. <laughs> well, we hope that you enjoyed seeing the catacombs as much as we did. It was so interesting. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.